I'm a senior, or just graduated from Niles West High School, and I was in this research program at my school called STEM, where you sign up for it basically, and then you're allowed the opportunity to work on research that you want to work on. And so I was lucky enough to make it to the Intel International Science Fair for two years, and this previous year, I won an award to go to the Wiseman Institute in Israel, and so I'll be doing research there starting like next week. And so yeah, that's basically where I'm at right now. My research was microbiology based, and yeah, I got lucky enough because um, when I applied to the Wise, or I didn't apply to the Wiseman thing, but when I was selected for the Wiseman Institute research program, they give you like 80 different projects that you can choose from and they give you all the abstracts and everything and you just like read through them and pick which ones interest you and kind of make like your top 10 list and then from there they try to give everybody like one of their first choices and so I got put to work on a project with um, an actual Nobel laureate and it's basically, I, I haven't read too much about it, but it's about mapping out the structure of ribosomes and figuring out how antibiotics stop working um, after bacteria mutate and so they know that there's something to do with the changes in structure in the ribosomes, but they don't know exactly what's going on. They're trying to develop antibiotics that kind of like avoid falling into that trap where they'll stop working after ribosomes change their structure. And so it's a pretty new field, I guess, and the woman that's working on the thing won the Nobel Prize because she was the first one to map out what a ribosome actually looks like. Mm -hmm. And so I guess it's gonna be a lot of mapping and figuring out um, like binding sites and, and activation sites and trying to figure out like where things go wrong when bacteria mutate and trying to figure out like if a drug can be developed where resistance won't be a problem. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like, yeah. As far as I know, I'm working with one other, other student on this project and it's gonna be with a research group, I guess. And the supervisor is the woman who won the Nobel Prize. Her name is Ad Ada Yunith. Um, and she actually spoke at the Intel Science Fair that I went to, so it was pretty cool. But yeah, I think it's going to be a group of researchers that are already doing research in this field and me and one other um, person are going to be like kind of working alongside of them. Mm -hmm. so it's already like what they're working on and, and yeah, there's a bunch of different like they give you links to the websites of all the different research groups so you can like read into it and see what you're interested in and where you want to be spending all your time and so mm -hmm. yeah, it's going to be a group of people I'm pretty sure. Yeah, um, so I started out doing research in microbiology just because I read articles that interested me in microbiology. But as time went by, so I started taking this research class my sophomore year in high school. And I've been taking it for three years. And between my um, sophomore and junior year, I took an organic chemistry class at Northwestern over the summer. And it kind of got me more into the chemistry of things. And my project still stayed in microbiology. I just branched off kind of more into like a chemical aspect of the initial project. and so. Right now, I'm going to U Michigan in Ann Arbor, and I'm majoring in um, biochemistry. But I kind of wanted to double major in microbiology and biochemistry, except for like I guess the requirements are very similar, so they don't want you to double major in two very similar fields. And so I'm doing biochem just because I want to do something um, like um, I want to become a doctor. My, both my parents are doctors, and so I guess that's influenced me a lot. And, and I want to do something in the medical field, and so biochem is. I guess the, the quickest way to get through the pre-med requirements. Plus, I like biology and chemistry and how, um, and how they complement each other. And so that's what I'm going into. But I'm still trying to figure out ways to do research in microbiology at Michigan. So I kind of want to like do everything and just like figure out like how to balance it all. So I'm not majoring in microbiology, but I still want to continue doing research in microbiology. The class was set up so that like you have an initial period of like two weeks where you just like read articles and just figure out like in, in what area you're interested in. And so I read an article um, because I went into this class like knowing that antibiotic um, resistance was a big problem and that like nowadays lots of antibiotics aren't working and there are strains that are becoming resistant and MRSA and things like that were big problems. And so I went into that class with that kind of mindset, but then I read articles and the one that actually like interested me the most and made me do all this was an article about how like turnip plants produce a natural compound that fights off bacteria without actually killing bacteria and so it was like a different type of of like idea behind an antibiotic because all the antibiotics we make now focus on killing bacteria and, and no matter what you do 
if you try to kill them, that's already going to put like pressure on them to mutate. And just by natural selection, you're going to have a different strain of bacteria that is resistant to what you're doing to them. And so that was what made me really interested because it was like a new concept that things in nature have adapted that we're not taking advantage of. And so that's how I started working on what I did. So what I did was I looked at quorum sensing, which is the mechanism um, by which bacteria communicate. And so it turns out that they exchange signaling molecules called autoinducers, and that's what allows them to regulate the production of different toxins. And so what I did was I tried using the chemistry that I learned over the summer to synthesize a molecule that inhibits the quorum sensing pathway and doesn't kill the bacteria, but just prevents them from regulating the different genes. And so I used a bacteria that glows in the dark, it luminesces. Um, and so I would be able to test to see whether or not my compound worked based on whether or not the bacteria would luminesce. And so then I applied that um, to actual pathogens like cholera, Vibrio cholera, and um, salmonella. And I found out that the drug that I made did work. So in theory, it works. I just, it's not like tested in animals or anything, so I don't know if it'd be safe. But it's just like the concept that you can make molecules that will work in a variety of different bacteria that won't kill the bacteria, but will just prevent the production of the toxin that the bacteria produce. And so you won't get sick from the bacterial infection. I mean, you won't get sick from the bacteria, so you won't have the infection, but you'll still have the bacteria in your body, and so then you can use antibiotics and things that we're using nowadays just to kill off the bacteria, and you won't be at risk of like dying from dehydration or whatever the toxin does. And so, yeah, that was just the, the general idea of what I did. I mean, I guess I've always been interested in science, even as a kid, but I'd say even going into high school as a freshman, I wasn't particularly interested in anything and I just kind of like went through all my classes and was like, oh, this is cool, that's cool. Math was interesting, English was fun. But like the thing that made it more interesting and like interesting enough for me to want to do this was the fact that my biology teacher like encouraged me to take this research class. And then even, even after one year of the research class, I wasn't like hooked into the research itself because I didn't really get anywhere my first year, but just the, the idea that like all these people that I'm reading their, their journals and things started out like in the same place that, that I did and they didn't really know what they wanted to do but they found some of the, something that interested them and then they got into a research group and then they did all this and published their papers. It seemed like really interesting to me and really cool and it's a way to like take advantage of what you like to do and, and apply it to problems in the world and help solve other problems and share with other people so that they can build off of what you're doing. And that, that kind of interested me a lot because our school was like trying to work with Northwestern, so they had graduate students from Northwestern try to like um, motivate and um, interest lots of students to, to get them to continue doing research. And so we learned about how the brand new wing at Northwestern was built because a guy developed a drug, Lyrica, I don't know if you've heard of it, that, that made like millions of dollars and now he's using that money to help further other research. And so it's just like all these people that are just right around this area did all these crazy things by getting into research and by doing what they we're interested in and so that's kind of what like got me. And then the organic chemistry class just like furthered that because I learned how chemistry and biology kind of like meet and how um, the things that you learn about biology are kind of just like, oh yeah, cells communicate but you don't really understand how until you take chemistry and you figure out like the actual um, chemistry behind everything and how everything works and that just, I just used everything that I got kind of to further what I was doing and so it got more and more specific as I went based on all the different influences, I guess. And so, yeah, it was like, it's a process, I guess. I wasn't always interested in science as much as I am now, and I, always, I wasn't always interested in microbiology. I actually never even knew what microbiology was until like sophomore year of high school. So that was, that was basically how I got to where I am, yeah. I was considering, so lots of people like ask me if I want to do research as a career, and the thing with that is I don't like the idea of always having to apply for grants and money is like the biggest issue in research and so I didn't, I didn't appeal to me to have to like constantly be applying to get more money to fund the research that you're doing especially if it doesn't get anywhere at first and so I kind of just like as of right now have this like idea that I'm gonna try to like get through college doing the pre-med track and try to do research as like a thing on the side because I want to do research because it's easier to do research as a college student than afterwards like 
I don't know, a lot, of, a lot of people that I know, especially one of the guys that was mentoring me during my junior year actually lost his job like right after he finished mentoring me because they wouldn't renew his contract because he couldn't get enough funding for his research. And so I don't want to end up like that. And I don't want like money to be the, the problem. And so I'd rather yeah, go into medicine and be able to pursue a field in medicine that interests me while also being, being able to do research on the side. And, and if I get anywhere with research, then, then maybe it'll change. But yeah, as of now, that's, I just don't like the idea of having to apply for grants over and over again and be like begging for funding, so yeah. I mean, I don't have a dream job. Um, both my parents are doctors, so my dad's an anesthesiologist and my mom's a pathologist, and I've, I've like shadowed them, I guess, and seen what they do, and, and it just seems boring to me, kind of what they do. I don't want to go into what they're doing, but um, I, I guess my goal for research would be to try to figure out if the compound that I made will actually work in animals and like actual organisms, and if it will affect other things that I'm not taking into account, and if it'll be safe, and, and just if it'll be a practical, like new type of antibiotic and I couldn't do that in high school just because you can't use organisms and you can't test that kind of thing and you don't have enough funding in high school but like in college that would be something that I'm trying to do and the problem with that is that you have to convince professors to, to take you into their lab and so I'm working on like sending people emails and getting them to, to like be interested in what I'm doing so that I can do what I'm doing and not just follow around other people and, and just like clean dish, dishes and stuff in college and so yeah that's that would be my goal as far as a job I don't really have a like ideal job in mind just I guess I don't know enough about all the different fields in medicine to have a particular job in mind and I don't really a lot of people like say I want to be a radiologist or anesthesiologist because it makes a lot of money but that's not really my main concern I just want something that I would be like happy to go to every day and so yeah I guess I haven't thought about that yet but um, for research my goal would be to see if what I've done so far could practically work in organisms and people in the future, I guess. I hope to learn about how exactly um, ribosomal structure is identified. I mean, I hope to just like become more informed on like what people are doing nowadays. And, and this is actual research that people are doing now to, to, to improve medicine and things and drugs that are being developed right now. So like I want to just, I guess, get an idea of how everything works like in real life. And um, I mean, I hope to meet new people. I know a lot of people aren't from the US that are going to this program. I think they're only 19 from the US. And so that's always interesting to meet people from other countries and like exchange ideas and see what they're interested in and why they applied. Because I didn't apply to this program. I, I got a scholarship to do the program from Intel. And so I don't think I would have ever applied to this program. I just didn't know about it. And so I'd be interested to see like what brought other people to apply to this program and what they're interested in doing and and just kind of like I don't know, hang out with other people and exchange ideas. I don't know. Also, you get to see a lot of Israel, so I'm looking forward to that. There's like camping and hiking and stuff. So that should be cool.